welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Ruth Kim thank you so much guys for clicking thank you thank you so much guys for subscribing to my channel and if it's your first time here in my channel I share my own experiences I share information that I know and I feel like it's going to help someone else out there and sometimes I just want to have fun so today guys like last time I posted a story time why I stopped drinking alcohol and so many people enjoyed it and today I'm going to share another story that happened while I was here in Germany. Back in the days when I was dating, as you can tell already from the title, it's a horrible online date. It was not so bad, but it was pathetic. So, <laughs> as you can hear guys, my voice is back. I was having a very, very bad cold. And from my last video, so many people were asking what is up and i was not feeling well guys and i thank god everything is okay now and i can be myself back again thank you so much guys for your concern may god keep on blessing you so let me go back to the story so as you all know guys here in germany it's very very hard to be talked to on the street or to find someone who is going to like he told you in the club, even if they are drunk, it doesn't matter how much they are drunk. The Germans, they don't do it like we do it maybe in Africa. Like in Africa, you know, guys, you're going to find someone on the street who is going to ask you out. You know, it happens. So back in the days when I was still dating or when I was still single and searching, the easiest way to find a soulmate or to find a partner was online dating. And I ended up in this online dating portal called tinder and tinder back then i don't know how it is now back then you used to like if you're looking for men you, used, you would see all the kind of guys who have registered themselves in that page and when you swipe to the left it means you don't like that guy but if you swap to the right it means you like that guy so you know you just get pictures you pass 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 until you see that face that you can imagine being with you know like you know there's some people who you're going to see their pictures and you're going to be like hmm this one is a hot one it's a snack so i met this guy and i thought he's cute and so i decided to swap to swipe right and to my surprise it was a match meaning to him i was attractive as well and he wanted to like to get to know me as well so we matched and after a match that's when you get an opportunity to chat with your match so we started chatting we started chatting we, ex we even ended up exchanging numbers so we moved from tinder to whatsapp so the chat was so interesting you know he was so attractive he was young tall handsome he was a dream guy guys and he had a good job so i knew he was hand hard working and he was a potential so but the, the the only thing the problem was he used to live like 800 kilometers away from where i was living he was on the other side of germany but we would talk like almost every day more than two three hours because we had started like connecting you know <laughs> and sending some nice pictures i'm not saying the n-u-d-e pictures <laughs> no so after like after talking for a, for two three months we decided it was enough enough of these online talk and online chats that we wanted to finally meet and i don't know why but it was easier for me to go meet him where he was you know because he was young we didn't even think of how i was going to travel i organized my own ticket you know when you find love and you find someone that you love you don't even keep on asking them to send you transport or something so i organized my transport or my ticket and we set a date and this is where everything changed guys you know that moment you think you found yourself like a king a soulmate a husband and 
let me stop spoiling it for you so the traveling day came and as you know you know meeting this cute guy for the first time i had to make myself up guys i went to the salon i made sure i went waxing i made sure i everything was tip top guys i i was looking nice i was traveling on a train but it was ICE, it was not a normal train, it was the expensive fast train because I needed to get to that destination so fast to meet my future husband. So, I, and I forgot to mention, I was on high heels, I, it was on summer. So I was looking so hot, I was looking so good, guys. Everybody was looking like me at, you know, I was looking like I was going for a date in the evening and it was during the day I was actually traveling from one destination to the other. So people are like, don't you think that's too much makeup for a date for a, during the day? But I think, yeah. So I was super, super excited. And when I got to the city where I was going to meet this guy, I decided to go to the loo first to to, to like check up my makeup and check if everything is okay, you know, wipe the armpits, wipe and put on some Dior. You know, you, I had to leave a very good first impression. So that's what I was thinking. And let me tell you guys, I, w when I met the guy, I was shocked. When I called him, like I'm already here, he said he's already at the uh, train station at the subway and i was like oh god this is so cute he's actually here waiting for me blah 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 so i called him and i gave him my like where i told him where i was when when i saw the guy i almost fell down i felt like i would dig a hole and put myself inside there so this is what happened guys this is what happened he came to pick me up on shots you know Shorts, kinyasa, kinyatha, and sandals. And to make the matter even worse, guys, the t-shirt that he was wearing. <laughs> Jesus, it was even sticking. It was sticking on his body because of the sweat. It was hot. I know, it was summer. But you know, guys, I had prepared myself so well. I... You know, I was going to meet this dream guy for the first time, but he, he, he was not even prepared to come and meet me. He was not. Like, can you imagine short sneakers and some sweaty type of t-shirt? And the hair was even looking so, you know, you know, when you have, you're dating a white guy, you're going to know when they have taken a shower or not because the hair is going to start sticking. It looks sticky. So, you know, he had not even taken a shower, guys. I had to put myself together because I was already there. You know, this was the time when you start asking God, why, why, where did I go wrong and blah, blah, blah. But I was already there. So he picked me up and he didn't even come to pick me up in the car. I knew he had a car. So we just connected with the train and everybody was looking at me like, so guys, I was in the S-Bahn looking all sexy, looking all fine with this guy who's looking all sweaty and dirty. Let me say that. And I was like, I, I was feeling so bad. I was... She just wanna hasira had you pata makasiriko. You don't even know what to do. That, that, that was, that's what was happening at that moment. So... I was not even aware where we, we were going to. He was having my small suitcase and he was holding my hand. And it was so odd because you could tell from my face that I don't even want to be staki kushikwa. So we went to another town. Like we waited for five, six stops and we went to his house, his apartment. Let me call it his apartment. And when I got there, there was nothing even like food. Hakukwa na chakula and you know after traveling for a long time so I was like hmm, maybe he's going to order something when we got there he didn't it was not even mo I was not even there for more than 10 minutes the guy was with with his wet sticky t-shirt all over me guys all over me and I was like excuse me can I at least have something to eat 
do you know what he told me guys it's past lunch time so i was expecting so he was expecting that i had bought something to eat or i had eaten something already and i was like excuse me you just picked me up from the train station where was i supposed to eat i'm hungry and he was like then maybe you can order something i was like me i come to you i travel all the way i come to your place and then you ask me to order something for myself to eat he said yeah you're hungry so you he said yes because i'm the one who is hungry i'm the one who's supposed to make an order i was like i don't even know even know where to make some orders here in your town can you can you do you know what i told him he said oh it's okay blah 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 then he was going to order something two 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 he ordered a pizza and when the pizza guy called came he called me can you go and pay the pizza jesus can you imagine how i went outside there i paid for the pizza and i ate it after eating he started coming again he was all over me and I, that's the time i was asking jehovah guy mother where did i end up in where did i get myself into and the good thing is i had a friend who was living in the same city and i told her like i've met this guy who is in your city maybe very soon we are going to be neighbors so she knew that i was going to visit him on that weekend so i told the guy can you just give me a moment can i can i go outside and get some fresh air he was like yeah we can go together we can go and smoke it was i don't smoke can you just let me go grab some air and he was like yeah you can do it I, when i was outside there i decided just to go downstairs and when i was there i called this friend of mine her name is maggie or meg we used to go to we used to school together in high school so i called her and i explained to her the situation and i told her exactly where i was she said wait for me i'm coming to pick you up and so i waited for her she came and then I, we went back to the apartment together and picked up my suitcase and he was surprised because he didn't even know that i knew someone in his city so he was like who the hell is she and i was like can you give me my stuff i just want to go and he was like nine above i was not above about what can you just give me my stuff and this is not working this is not what i came here for yeah so he gave me my stuff and we went to meg actually she's the one i was talking to the other day i can share your story so i had to share it with you guys so i don't know what this guy was thinking that i was going to pay fair to come and give him some sugar you know but anyway maybe there are some people who do that so let's on land next time before you pay you pay a ticket to go and meet someone make sure you like don't don't go and meet them let them come and meet you because i think if he was he's the one who had come to meet me i could have seen the type of person that he is and make sure if you're going to meet someone make sure you tell someone exactly where you are and be safe be safe don't be like me because this guy it's for sure he just wanted to have some sugar from me so that's how it ended but the funny thing is nowadays we only laugh about it see you check a your story because it was so crazy you know it's not all that glitters is gold so do you know i was supposed to pay the ticket go give, give him some sugar go buy myself some food and pay my ticket back home to you know just for getting some sugar anyway that was it guys if you want to hear more stories if you want to hear more stories guys let me know let me know if you like my stories let me know subscribe to my channel and i'll drop more stories for you I, i'll drop more stories for you Thank you so much for clicking. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.